So, now that we've finished a couple of other projects, I'll have a short one that I want to have a go at. Um, I'm really into making my espresso and coffee, and uh, I need a, a, a knock box, and it's just a great opportunity to have a go at a little, a, a small dovetail box. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've got a couple of small scraps of wood that I'm going to use for the sides. Um, I've got some other scraps, so I'm going to have a go at resawing it to get the thickness, you know, maybe half that thickness to have a go at the base. Now, I don't have a bandsaw, which is typically what you'd use for resawing, so I'm going to have a go with a table saw and a hand saw and, and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so trying to resaw my what would be the baseboard by using the table saw was uh, quite interesting. Um, it's not, I haven't got a particularly good table saw, and uh, the blade was probably blunt before we started. And uh, in the end, I think mostly what it did was actually burn through the wood, so it wasn't ideal. But as you can see, it's got through a vast majority of them, and it won't take me long to hand saw that through and then plane the, the underside flat. So, yeah, successful. Would I do it again? Possibly not, uh, we'll see. Uh, anyway, on to the next stage, which will be to hand saw that, finish off this baseboard, and then we can have a look at the dovetail joints for the sides. Okay, so now that we've got all these cut to size, I'm going to um, mark out and then start cutting the dovetails so I can join this together. I'm sure you know there are a 
couple of different ways of removing the waste from these. Uh, I'm going to use the coping saw to remove the waste on these and I'll probably use the chisel to remove the waste on the other side just so you can see the different types. This is a lot faster for removing the waste but it's less accurate um, so you need to do a bit more clean up with the chisel afterwards. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now that I've cut the first parts of these dovetails, I'm going to uh, mark them out onto the side and then again just cut down with the saw and clean out the waste, probably with the coping saw again and just clean that up with the chisel because I find that easiest. Okay. 